you know, you go to school and you learn certain things, but you don't really learn about life, you know, you don't l learn about your emotions, you don't learn about your, your mind and, and the, why you do certain things and why you feel certain ways. Today I want to talk to you about invisible forces. Radiation is an invisible force, gravity is an invisible force, electromagnetic energy is an invisible force, so is love and so is hate. Those two invisible forces of human emotion can impact your life more than almost anything else on this earth. You know, people love to talk about their intellect, but guess what? It's human emotion that actually moves us to action. Emotions start wars. They also create peace. Emotions will get you to fall in love. It's what gets you married. It's also can get you divorced if you don't manage it well. Used effectively, we can use our emotions to experience the most enhanced life you could ever dream of. But if we fail to direct our emotion, fear, Worry, anger, stress, depression, or overwhelm can creep in. Listen, we've all been given a gift, and that gift is the capacity to choose and direct and shape our own emotions, therefore change the quality of our lives in an instant and help others to do the same. So if we're gonna have an extraordinary holiday season, and more importantly, an extraordinary life, we have to become the masters of this invisible force called human emotion. We feel different feelings at different times, and we can be triggered by a variety of things in our environment. But ultimately, the way you feel is based upon the meaning you give to things. See, meaning equals emotion, and emotion equals your life. So for example, if something really challenging happens in your life, some people make up a meaning, this is happening because God is punishing me for something I've done wrong. See, the meaning we give things produces emotion. If you think God's punishing you, you're gonna have a different feeling and response instead of actions that you think God is challenging or gifting you with this challenge. What's wrong is always available, as I always say, but so is what's right. Rarely does a positive emotion just interrupt you. Usually, you have to pursue them. Weeds grow automatically, you don't have to plant them. In the middle of a challenge, one of my favorite questions to ask is, what's great about this? Maybe there's an opportunity in this situation. If you and I are going to become emotionally fit, then we really have to train ourselves. Emotional fitness is that state of readiness. It's different than emotional intelligence. Most people have a highway to stress and fear and worry and upset, and they got a dirt road to happiness or joy. You can change that because emotion is a habit. This holiday season, and more importantly in your life, what do we gotta do to consistently have the emotions we want is become conscious and train that habit. You need to figure out what your emotional home is. So take a look at your emotional inventory and maybe circle the top two positive emotions you experience most and the top two negative you experience most. And then write down what tends to trigger you and how could you train yourself in that same situation to feel differently. Just by having the awareness alone, you can change things. And if you do this for, say, 10 days, I think you'll find you'll have a new set of habits and the quality of your life, not only during the holidays, but every day will increase massively. So if you really want to give yourself a gift and the people around you this holiday season, maybe make a decision. It's a simple decision that says, from this day on, at least for the next few weeks, I'm going to train myself to tap into the gift of positive human emotions. I'm going to live in a beautiful emotional state by finding a more empowering meaning. Just ask yourself, what else could this mean? And find an empowering meaning, and in that moment, you become the master of your life. Listen, master emotion, and you master your life. Master meaning, and you master your life.